Thank you to Westpac Lifestyle for sponsoring this video. Hello all you beautiful people and lovers of food. Today we're going to be making a chicken pot pie. My name is Vivian and I am your Easy Chef. Today we're going to be making Jamie Oliver's five ingredient chicken pot pie. Now, this is something that I haven't made yet, but I do love everything that he has in this book. So please go give it a look if you have some time. And this is one of the things that I love about Jamie Oliver's food is he always makes it so versatile. So if you're not a fan of thyme, you can take the thyme, replace it with rosemary. If you're not a fan of mushrooms, take out the mushrooms. Do whatever you like, make your food yours. And this is why we're going to do this today. We're gonna to make this our chicken pot pie. I'm gonna take two pans. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in one with my onions and start getting them to cook all the way through. In my other pan, I'm gonna keep it dry and add my mushrooms. Frying them like this will add a nice nutty flavor. Our onions, we're just gonna cook and let them brown a little bit. And once they've browned, we'll add our chicken. Remember there's two textures of chicken here, a finely chopped chicken and a bit of a rougher chopped chicken. This is to add different textures in the pie. We're gonna add our mushrooms to our chicken and we're also gonna add a nice hearty helping of thyme. Gonna add a little bit of red wine vinegar. This is almost done. So we're gonna add some salt pepper and a splash of water just to make sure that we've got enough moisture in our pie mixture. And then we're going to be ready to put our pastry on. For our pastry what we do is I've just gone and bought store bought pastry. I wasn't too worried about making my own here today. And I've just laid it out on some flour, dusted both sides so it doesn't stick to my countertop. And then I'm going to roll it out so it fits at least the, the width of my pan. And then I know it's not going to be the perfect pie, it's going to be a bit rustic, but I still want to make it a bit neater. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bowl that's roughly about the size of my pan and I'm going to use it to indent into my pastry and then cut the excess off so that I don't have too many flippy floppy corners when I make my pie. I'm then also just going to decorate it a little bit and do a nice little cross hatch by scoring along my pastry with a knife. I'm not going all the way through, I'm just going very lightly on the top and you'll see this when it, it, it puffs up in the oven, it'll make nice little crispy things. I'm now just gonna put it on my pan and neatly or roughly, depending on your mood, fold in the edges so that it doesn't hang over my dish. And then I'm gonna brush it with a bit of oil. This is gonna help crisp up the top of our pastry. And lastly, we're gonna follow Jamie Oliver and put our nice sprig of thyme in the middle of our pie. And it's done, it's ready for the oven. This is gonna be in the oven for 15 minutes at 220 degrees or until your pastry is nicely golden brown. I'd like to take this moment to thank Westpac Lifestyle for sponsoring this video. These amazing cast iron pans really help make this pie extra special. So make your way down to Westpac Lifestyle and see what you can get for yourself. Thank you. So our pie is out the oven and it doesn't just look amazing, it smells incredible. I can tell you while I was baking, the aroma of this thyme had my mouth watering. And I can tell you just from a quick little, our pastry is nice and crispy and I'm just gonna dig in. Oh, it's crunchy. Looks good to me. It looks a bit hot. Mmm. 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 This is incredible that it's only five ingredients. It is delicious. The mushrooms add such a meaty body to it. The chicken is soft and tender because it's been cooking for a while. And the thyme just carries through the whole dish. And it really is just something special. I 
strongly recommend that if you only have these five ingredients, this is the dish you need to make. Guys, this dish was delicious before I even started. I knew it was going to be a great success and hopefully I've done it justice. I believe that I have. So all I can say is thanks for watching. Please, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button, please subscribe and Jamie Oliver, maybe give me a call. And while Jamie Oliver is giving me a call, everyone else, please ring the bell so you know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching. Stay delicious, you beautiful people. Bye. Oh, I imagine he really did call. <laughs>